Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Ariane 6 mod, which is being made by forum user Matthew G. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is all the parts you need to build your very own ESA Ariane 6 rocket, which is pretty cool. So let's jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get. Now, the Ariane 6 is is sort of a generic launch system so we're not gonna have any uh, dedicated command module here so let's just grab a random one for size comparison sake and move it up because oh boy some of these parts are really big and then turn on our filter just leaving on Ariane 6 and move to the fuel tank category where we have our first two parts and the first thing I've really got to mention here I don't want to say that these are bugged i honestly believe that maybe there is just a typo in the config file but these things both carry way too much fuel for instance if we pop on the second stage here which is the smaller of the two you can see it is quite big and pretty darn beautiful here very nicely made of model good texturing on it i very much do enjoy it but the fuel capacity on this thing is 13,950 liquid fuel and 17,050 oxidizer. If you actually have this ship with all of its fuel tanks fully fueled, it cannot take off from the launch pad. That being said, if you crank it down to about 10% of its total fuel, you can and still get into space quite easily. That's why I think it is a typo that there's just perhaps an extra zero on these various fuel tanks, and it is on all of the fuel tanks. Uh, so yes, it's it's a, a small problem and something you can easily deal with just by cranking down the fuel capacity here in the vehicle assembly building. So I don't really see it as a big problem. But all in all though, it uh, is still good parts, the second stage for instance here, is in fact an unmanned command pod, so you don't have to worry too much about what satellite you have up top. It also does have a built-in data transmitter, an engine with 180 kilonewtons of max thrust using liquid fuel and oxidizer, has 4 degrees of gimbling on that engine, and then a much more reasonable 50 electric charge and 400 monopropellant, fitting in line a lot better than uh, what you probably should be getting here. Now, the next part, if we chuck this off, is, oh boy, a big one. This is the first stage, and as you can see, it is just a gigantic freaking fuel tank with, of course, once more, its own built-in engine there. A very good looking, all in all, a good solid tank. And this one having a thrust and quite a bit of it at 1,350 kilonewtons using liquid fuel and oxidizer, 5 degrees of gimbling, and uh, 12,600 liquid fuel and 15,400 oxidizer. Again, I think that's a typo because it's just way too much fuel that makes it way too heavy to take off. But, like I said, with the second stage, crank it down to about 10%, and you're good to go into space with no issues. Now, the next part is down in engines, where we have the booster for this particular part mod, and it's a good one. Now, you'll notice, even though it is a radially attached booster, it doesn't quite fit on the radial attachment as you would expect, and that is because it doesn't have its own built-in decoupler, so you are going to have to use one of these standard stock in-game decouplers and then attach it to that and it works a bit better and uh, as for the stats on this thing though it will produce 3,500 max kilonewtons of thrust using liquid fuel and oxidizer four degrees of gimbling on this one and 12,240 liquid fuel and 14,960 oxidizer once more crank it down to about 10% and you're okay now, in command and control, we have nothing. In structural, we have nothing. In robotics, we have nothing. In coupling, we do have a decoupler here with 7,000 uh, decoupler ejection force, which is actually meant to go on the second stage, so I probably shouldn't have knocked that one off so soon, because there's also another part that we need for it. 
And there we go. We can pop that decoupler right on there and you'll be fine. And then of course attach the first stage below that. All in all, a good a solid decoupler with all the lovely flags of those members of the ESA. Good times. Now in payload, we do have the fairing for this with 300 ejection force, and those attach to that point on the uh, second stage here. And you just gotta kind of copy this and flip it around and pop on it to the other side. And once more with the the nice logos for the program, always good and a good solid and a very large fairing. You can really fit some big stuff in this thing. You can take. A up some pretty good payloads. Now in aerodynamics we have nothing. Ground, nothing. Thermal, nothing. Electrical, nothing. Communication, nothing. Science, nothing. Cargo, nothing. And utility, nothing. So that's all the parts we do have for this mod. Not a whole lot to it, but put all together, it does make for a fun and a wonderful rocket. Let's actually load that one up. And here we are, the Ariane 64 with the four boosters here. And of course, a payload of a really crappy satellite that I popped in there earlier good times there but yes all in all a pretty great rocket here and i don't believe on this save you know let's just uh pop all those down to about 10 percent so we can actually take this thing off and test it properly i did not do that earlier so let's uh, there we go excellent and now we should be able to take off with no problems so let's go to launch pad and see how this stuff flies and it flies well Again, assuming it's not weighed down by all of that excess fuel. And boy, though, is, is this thing big. It is a very large rocket, and it is just gorgeous. I really do like all these parts. It is a good heavy launcher for you to be able to launch just entire massive chunks of your space stations into orbit without any issues. So let's uh, throttle up, fire the engines, release the stability and hands. Oh, I messed up the staging, of course. Of course I messed up the staging. All right, let's turn the UI back on and try that again. <laughs> Oh, I could have sworn I fixed that earlier, but apparently I didn't. Apparently. Oh, uh, yep, yep, there's the decoupler. I forgot to move that down, those stability enhancers. There we go. Pop that there. And now, throttle up, start the engines, and we fly! And into space we go. And yeah, like I said, even with 10% of the fuel in those tanks that it, uh, should be holding we can easily get this thing into space it's uh, a very good engines here producing a lot of thrust and you can fit quite a large payload on this thing let's actually throttle these all down except for of course these boosters because well they um they don't throttle so much and yep there we go i messed things up again but oh well we have this one now the next stage which is now out of control because of my stupidity, but oh well, what do you expect from my channel? And there we are, a good engine on the second stage now flying us off into the horizon. And yeah, there we go. A beautiful mod made with some good parts here to add a bit of ESA flair to your game. And so long as you build it correctly and don't mess up the staging, It'll get you into space with any payload you can pretty much want to send. It is a good rocket. So if you'd like to take a look at this thing for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.